a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Rafael Benitez Rafael Benitez Mords is a Spanish professional football coach who is the manager of Premier League club Newcastle United. He is the only manager in history to have won the UEFA Europa League, UEFA Super Cup, UEFA Champions League and the FIFA Club World Cup. Benitez joined Real Madrid's coaching staff at the age of 26, going on to work as the under-19 and reserve team coach, and assistant manager, for the senior team. Benitez moved away from Real Madrid in 1995, but management spells at Real Valladolid and Osasuna were short-lived and unsuccessful. Benitez guided Segunda División side Extra Madura back to the Primera División in his first season in 1997, but the team was relegated the following season. He left the club and coached Tenerife in 2000, winning promotion in his only season. Benitez was appointed coach of Valencia and won La Liga in the 2001-02 season. In 2004, another La Liga league title and UEFA Cup victory were added building on the foundation laid by Hector Cupa who had taken Valencia to two consecutive Champions League finals in 2000 against Real Madrid and in 2001 against Bayern Munich. After leaving Valencia, Benitez then moved to English club Liverpool of the Premier League guiding the club to victory in the UEFA Champions League in 2005. For the second consecutive season, he was named UEFA Manager of the Year. He also won the FA Cup in 2006 and reached the 2007 Champions League final, but was unable to win the Premier League. With Liverpool's best league performance under Benitez a second-place finish in 2008-09. After leaving Liverpool in June 2010, Benitez was appointed manager of treble winning side into Milan. His reign at the club was a short one, and he was let go midway through the 2010-11 season despite guiding the team to the Supercoppa Italiana and FIFA Club World Cup titles. In November 2012, he was appointed interim manager of Chelsea for the remainder of the season and he won the 2013 Europa League. Benitez returned to Italy in 2013 to coach Napoli, where he won the Coppa Italia and Supercoppa Italiana. Benitez then left Napoli and became coach of Real Madrid in June 2015 on an initial three-year contract. It was another short-lived appointment and on 4 January 2016, he was dismissed following a 2-2 draw against his old club, Valencia. On the 11th of March 2016, Benitez was announced as the manager of Newcastle United in an attempt to save the club from relegation. Benitez was unable to avoid relegation, but earned promotion back to the Premier League the following year, winning the championship. Early career Benitez passed through the playing ranks as a midfielder for both Real Madrid aficionados in the Tercera División and Castilla in the Segunda División. He also enrolled as a student at INIF the sports faculty at the Universidad Politécnica de Madrid, and in 1982 he obtained a degree in physical education. In 1979, Benitez was selected to play for the Spain Youth U19s at the World Student Games in Mexico City and he scored a penalty in the opening game, a 10-0 win against Cuba. In the next game, a 0-0 draw against Canada, he was injured in a hard tackle. The injury saw him sidelined for a year which realistically ended his chances of becoming a major player. In 1981, Benitez joined Tercera División inside Parla. Initially, he joined Parla on loan, but eventually signed for them permanently and helped them gain promotion to Segunda División B. He also played a further three games for the Spain University's eleven. In 1985, he signed for Segunda División B club Linares and under Enrique Mateos. He served as a player-slash-coach. Further injury problems saw him miss almost the entire 1985-86 season and he subsequently retired as a player. Real Madrid youth coach. In 1986, at the age of 26, 
Benitez returned to Real Madrid to join the club's coaching staff. At the start of the 1986-87 season, he was appointed coach of Castilla B with his team. He won two league titles in 1987 and 1989. He won a third league title with Real Madrid Youth B in 1990. Halfway through the 1990-91 season he succeeded Jose Antonio Camacho as the coach of Real Madrid under-19 club. With the team, he won the Spain under-19s cup in 1991 and 1993, defeating Barcelona in both finals. In 1993, the team completed a double when they also won their national under-19 league. While at Real, Benitez also gained his coaching certificate in 1989, and in the summer of 1990 taught at a football camp at the University of California, Davis, in California. During the 1992-93 season, Benitez also worked as an assistant coach to Mariano Garcia Ramon at Real Madrid B after his success with the U19s. Benitez then succeeded Garcia Ramon at the start of the 1993-94 season. Real Madrid B were then playing in the Segunda División, and on the 4th of September 1993, he made his debut as a Segunda División manager with a 3-1 over Hercules. In March 1994, he became assistant manager to Vicente del Bosque with the senior Real Madrid team before returning to coach Real Madrid B for the 1994-95 season. Early coaching The first attempts by Benitez at senior management away from the Real Madrid fold were less than successful. He was appointed manager of Real Valladolid for the 1995-96 season, but was dismissed after only two wins in 23 games, with the club bottom of the Primera División. During the 1996-97 season, Benitez took charge at Osasuna in the Segunda División. But after only nine games and one win, he was dismissed. He did, however, meet the fitness instructor Paco Estarin at the club, and went on to form a partnership with him at several clubs for the next decade. In 1997, he joined another Segunda División side, Extremadura, and this time led them to promotion, finishing second in the table behind Deportivo Alaves after winning 23 out of 42 games. Extremadura only survived one season in Primera División, however, and were relegated in 1999 after finishing 17th and losing a playoff to Rayo Vallecano. Benitez subsequently quit Extremadura and took a year off from football to study in England and Italy. He also worked as a commentator-slash-analyst for Eurosport, Marca, El Mundo and local Madrid TV. In 2000, he was appointed manager of Tenerife of the Segunda División and with a team that included Mr. Curo Torres and Luis Garcia, he gained promotion to La Liga by finishing third in the league behind Sevilla and Real Betis. 2001-04 Spanish champions and UEFA Cup winners In 2001, Benitez was appointed coach of Valencia, replacing Hector Cooper. The club had previously approached Javier Urita, Monet, and Luis Aragonés, and had been turned down by all three. However, club director Javier Sabirats recognized the potential of Benitez and campaigned for his appointment. Valencia fans were soon won over by Benitez after he introduced a more attacking style of play than his predecessor, Cooper. He also brought in both Mr. from his former club and Francisco Rufete from Malaga, with Mr. going on to become top goal scorer for Valencia, with 19 goals in the 2003-04 season. In 2002, these tactics saw Benitez lead Valencia to their first Liga title in 31 years, winning it by a seven-point margin over second-placed Deportivo La Coruña. However, the following 2002-03 season was a disappointing one. The club failed to follow up on their title success, finishing fifth in La Liga, 18 points behind champions Real Madrid. The season saw Benitez make his debut in the Champions League where his side reached the quarter-finals, losing to Inter Milan. In 2003-04 season, Valencia won La Liga with three games to spare and beat Marseille 2-0 in the UEFA Cup final. Despite this success, Benitez fell out with Jesus Garcia Pitarc, the club's director of football, over control of new signings and the club's failure to reinforce the squad with the players he wanted. He famously said, I was hoping for a sofa, a defender, and they've brought me a lamp, Fabian Canobio, in reference 
to the positions he wanted to be strengthened. These differences of opinion saw Benitez resign as Valencia coach on 1 June 2004. 2004-06 Early Successes One of Benitez's first tasks at Liverpool was to convince club captain Steven Gerrard not to move to rivals Chelsea. He was unable, however, to convince Michael Owen to extend his contract. He was subsequently sold to Real Madrid. Later in the summer transfer window, Benitez signed several players from La Liga, most notably Luis Garcia and Xabi Alonso, both of whom drew immediate admiration from Copites. Benitez also gave new life to existing Liverpool players, transforming Jamie Carragher from a utility player to one of Europe's top centre-backs alongside Sami Hyapia. During his first season, Benitez failed to improve Liverpool's form in the Premiership. Key players missed much of the season through injury and Liverpool failed to challenge Chelsea and Arsenal for the league title, finishing fifth. Benitez, however, did reach his first English domestic cup final, losing the league cup final against Chelsea, at the Millennium Stadium 3-2 after extra time. In the Champions League, however, Liverpool fared differently, despite their poor start. Liverpool began their campaign with an unimpressive 2-1 aggregate win over Grazerac in the qualifying rounds and were minutes away from going out of the competition in the group stages. However, an 87th-minute goal by Steven Gerrard defeated Olympiacs 3-1 and saw the club progress to the last 16 on head-to-head -head difference. After defeating Bayer Leverkusen and Juventus, with the aid of some bold team selections by Benitez, Liverpool faced Chelsea in the semi-final. A controversial early goal from Luis Garcia saw Liverpool win 1-0 on aggregate and reach the final against Milan. In a classic final, Liverpool came from 3-0 down at half-time to level the score at 3-3 in the space of just six minutes, eventually triumphing 3-2 on penalties with the assistance of goalkeeper Jerzy Dudek. Benitez's calm, methodical approach at half-time was said to give the players the belief they could pull off an improbable comeback and win Liverpool an historic fifth European Cup. In doing so, Benitez became only the third manager in history to win the UEFA Cup and UEFA Champions League in successive seasons, and the second Liverpool manager ever to win the European Cup slash UEFA Champions League in his first season in charge. Benitez's tactics were credited as a key factor in Liverpool reaching and winning the final. Despite a relatively unimpressive squad of players, it is notable that Dudek's heroics in the final were not enough for him to stay as first choice keeper, as newly signed Pepe Reina replaced him in from the start of the 2005 06 season. Benitez also quickly discarded unlikely heroes Vladimir Smyser and Igor Biskin, who played key roles in the European success, but seemingly did not figure in Benitez's long term plans. Benitez also quickly sold Josemi and Antonio Nunez, two of his first signings in English football, after they failed to establish themselves, with the likes of Peter Crouch, Mohamed Sissoko, Daniel Agger as well as former Liverpool player Robbie Fowler being brought in to strengthen the side. Benitez's signings helped the club's premiership form improve considerably. Liverpool finished third in the league, missing out on second place by one point. Liverpool also won the FA Cup beating both Manchester United and Chelsea, as well as a thrilling 5-3 win against Luton Town in the third round, on the way to the final against West Ham United. History repeated itself in the final as they then went on to lift the trophy after a penalty shootout. Following a dramatic 3-3 draw, Liverpool came from 2-0 down and were losing 3-2 in stoppage time when Steven Gerrard scored a dramatic late equaliser. This time, Pepe Reina saved three penalties during the shootout to secure the silverware. In winning the FA Cup, Benitez became the only manager in Liverpool's history to win major trophies in both of his first two seasons at the club. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like